I think that uh, even when we spoke about three weeks ago, uh, that uh, it's always uh, a huge selection. I thought Liam, uh, in particular, played particularly well uh, on the weekend. Uh, his ability to be a player, his work rate off the ball uh, was very good. Uh, his kicking came uh, was very effective when he kicked the ball. So, uh, as we keep reminding ourselves that to have that option or to have the choices with three players who are obviously played for us many, many times, and uh, we've got that luxury at the moment with uh, you know three wingers along with Haram Amos, you know, who's played particularly well for the Dragons as well. We feel that we're nice and strong in that position and. Uh, it's about that opportunity which the players had on the weekend uh, and Liam uh, played particularly well so it's going to be a tough uh, selection uh, come early next week you know from a coach's perspective you know we've released a number of players back uh, to the region this weekend that we feel that need a game and Luke will certainly update you on those players uh, <clears throat> obviously Jamie uh, John and uh, Luke uh, back to France uh, and I think that's the nature of top 14. I think our players knew when you make a decision, uh, when you go uh, to France or England, that ultimately those fallow weeks in between, uh, you know what the score is going to be. Like You have to go back to your, your club, uh, and whether it's in England and France, and you're asked to play. And that's the nature of the calendar, rugby calendar in the Northern Hemisphere. Uh, having watched France, <coughs> you know, they probably haven't, haven't changed too much over the last current uh, games in terms of uh, being under the same coaching structure, and I think they're going to be, a, a, you know, a, t a tough, uh, tough physical game as it always is. Because you know, whilst we've come come away favourably on the scoreboard uh, over the last three occasions, it's always a huge physical battle, and uh, you know, particularly you know in the forwards, and. It's, it's not going to be exactly the same, uh, you know, a week Saturday. So uh, it's something which we have to prepare for in terms of our physical confrontation, uh, earning the right to play. Our kicking game is going to be really important, but uh, at, at, well, at most is probably our discipline, uh, which I think that uh, probably over the period of the last two weeks, uh, in terms of the England game and uh, the Scotland game, we just afforded uh, the opposition to have a little bit more dominance in the territorial game uh, than we would have wanted. And ultimately that comes down to discipline in the contact area, discipline in the set piece. And uh, we need to get that right because otherwise, you know, <laughs> a blue team will be camped in our half for a long period of time. And when they do have that territorial dominance, they normally come away with points. and. <clears throat> Having watched them against Ireland the second half, the last 20 minutes of the game, uh, I thought you saw France at their best. Uh, you know, strong ball carriers, winning the collisions, getting over the gain line, and uh, probably could have come away with a win. But I suppose that's the nature of the Six Nations. Now, when you look at the games, apart from maybe England and Italy, uh, and who else played Italy? Ireland played Italy. The other games have been less than seven points. And that's the nature of the Six Nations. Uh, coming back to maybe Dalmi's point about the pressure uh, the players may feel at, it's going into the last 15, 20, 10 minutes of that game, whereby game management is so critical because uh, you're under pressure. Uh, and that's going to be key uh, against France uh, on next Saturday.